Here's a brief overview on connecting the ATEM Mini Pro with uh, Vixia cameras and using Google Meets to share a three camera feed. It's been very helpful for recording a GLAD training I'm currently um, helping with here at Sunland Park Elementary. So this is the ATEM Mini Pro. There is no power button for the ATEM Mini Pro. All you have to do is connect that cable to the back of the unit. It has like a screw on uh, power cable so that it doesn't accidentally slip out in the middle of a stream. It goes on the right side uh, on the back. To connect to it, to connect the camera, you use an HDMI cable. And here's a picture of like a 30 foot HDMI cable. That's the end that you would plug in uh, to the back of your H, uh, ATEM Mini. To connect the HDMI cable to the camera, you need an adapter because you are going to go from a full-size HDMI to a mini HDMI. Let's take a quick look at the camera we'll be using, which is the Canon Vixia. Uh, when you open up the viewfinder, you'll see the on and off button and you'll also see where you can plug in the HDMI cable. There it is connected, and now it's ready to connect to your larger HDMI cable, which then connects to the ATEM Mini Pro. To ensure that the cable does not get pulled accidentally and disconnected, I like to use the Velcro strap that's already on my HDMI cables to wrap it around the tripod base nice and tight, and that'll prevent it from inadvertently slipping out. Uh, here is uh, the battery for the Canon. If you notice, it's got a little, uh, some grooves like teeth at the top. That's what connects to the camera. Uh, you put it in there and slide it up and it's ready to go. There is the power button for the camera. If you're close to a wall outlet, you can also connect the camera to the wall using this adapter. The plug-in is on the right side at the bottom there, and you just connect it to the wall, and you will not need a battery. Now let's look at connecting the Cinco wireless microphone. Uh, it has uh, three main parts. It has two transmitters and one receiver. So. Here is a picture of it. You can see that the receiver is on the right and there's two transmitters on the left. This is the receiver. They look identical. Basically, a receiver is what you connect to your camera so that the signal can come into the ATEM Mini Pro. And the transmitter is what the person you're recording wears so that it'll capture their voice and it sends it to the receiver. You can use this lavalier mic and it plugs in right into the transmitter. The transmitter, that's what the person will wear, usually like on their pocket or on their waistband. And you connect the lavalier mic into that. And then to power it on, you simply push this button on the left side right underneath the mic. And you push and hold it for just a few seconds and the blue light will turn on. Here is the receiver, and to turn it on, all you do is the same thing. You've got the power button on the left side there, and once it turns on, it'll light up blue. Now they're both lit up, and they're good to go. And now connecting the receiver onto the camera, you find the mic input, and that is where you connect one end of the connector, the other end connects to the receiver, not the transmitter. This is where the signal is received from the mic transmitter. And you go ahead and connect it to the out. Now, when you're ready to record, I do recommend that you hang the receiver on the hand grip uh, Velcro holder on the side. That way it's not hanging in midair. Now, when you're ready to start broadcasting, 
using your three camera setup using the ATM Mini Pro and the microphone. You'll open up your Google Meets, uh, just a couple of things. Don't forget to start recording. Um, also, you're going to want to change the camera from like the webcam to start recognizing the feed from the Black Magic. It's super easy. You go down here to your more options, then click on settings. You are defaulted to audio. The microphone we want to use is not the one to your computer. Do you want to find the one that says Black Magic Design? It is now recording using the input from the Black Magic Design. Now remember, you still have to enable the microphone on the actual A10 Mini Pro. You also are going to want to change your video from your internal camera to Black Magic Design. Unfortunately, for the purpose of this video, I don't have a camera set up. Uh, but imagine uh, once you do that, it will start picking up whatever camera you've selected. So let's say I have two cameras connected. On the uh, second camera is where I've connected the microphone. So now I want to make sure that I enable the microphone for camera two. So I would select on right above the two for camera two and make sure that all the other channels are off. There's two on top and then one for each camera. When I'm ready to start making transitions between the cameras, I can select from either a hard cut, which is what is defaulted, which means I could go from camera one to camera two, but it would be a very quick transition, very quick hard cut from one scene to the other. Or I can select what I like is mix, and then I can select auto. And you'll notice the way the buttons light up mimic the way the scenes transition. So one scene transitions to the other in a smooth pattern. You're ready to record.